Well, well, well. Here we are, Tuesday night, guys. What a weird slate. This looked more like an NBA preseason slate. You know, so many of the studs just shit, just, they just fucked the dog tonight, guys. What are you going to do? It's like drawing names out of a hat at this point of the season. Um, but we didn't do too bad, did we? Not too shabby. We didn't, it wasn't nowhere near like yesterday, but we'll take it. Um, you see here, value plays, it was few and far between, but I took the good ones. I, you know, Bacon, uh, Kevin Bacon's love child, got a 43. Thomas Bryant totally fucked the dog on this one in a great matchup. Um, Bam, I had a Bayou, did great, only 3% owned. Um, the DFS club talked me into Ryan, so that was good. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. We got a 309, guys. Um, not bad. Not bad at all. So let me show you my other winning lineups because you know who, Cam ATL. He says, oh, we killed it. We killed it, but he don't prove it. He don't show you he killed it because he never does. He'll probably, he, the only thing he crushes is that crack pipe when he sits on it, when he leaves it on the couch. Let me show you my next lineup. All right, guys, this was a 297. Um, I thought today it would be very high scoring to take down some slates, but it was the total opposite, and it was only because the studs fucked the dog. Like, look at this one. It's similar to the last lineup. Like you guys, I have my core players I play, and then I pivot like to some other players. Um, but look at Jokic. Have you ever seen Jokic at 1% owned? I have never seen that. So... So if he would have done better than a 44, I could have taken this this down easily. I mean, I threw Daniel House in there. Reggie Jackson had a good game. Only 1% owned. So I got lucky with the ownership today. That's just pretty much how it is. Even uh, Ice Stray was only 31%. And so, yeah, got a 297. This was a $4 buy-in, I believe. Something like that. Um... So, yeah, let me see what else I can... Oh, yeah, by the way, the NHL eight-day winning streak is over. I lost an NHL today, guys. So, sorry about the background there. My goddamn cat's having a fit. So, let's, let's see what else I got. All right, guys. So, I think today was actually uh, headed to the, lock, to the locker room night. Everybody was headed to the locker room. Fucking goddamn these fucking guys nowadays. Uh, this is my worst lineup of the night. I'm, I will share that also with you guys. So, 247. James Harden got a 50. Uh, fucking Freddie Jackson went to the locker room. John Collins totally fucked the dog. Ish Smith totally fucked the dog. So, subscribers, I hope you guys did alright. At least broke even like I did. Um, but we're gonna get it tomorrow. So let's get into tomorrow's slate, guys. Today is, today is behind us. Um, it wasn't a loss. It wasn't a total loss. So we'll take it, though. But you know what it is. We want to eat. We want to get get this victory. So let's let, let's go right into tomorrow's slate. Let's do it. All right, y'all. So new subscribers, check this out. This is Draft Dashboard. Um, I had a question in my comments. Um, someone asking me how much is it for a uh, membership. Right now, I'm not doing memberships, okay? Um, right now, for the end of the month, I'm doing all of my content for free as a thank you, okay? Um, but after this month, here's the deal. If I get 300 subscribers by the end of this month, I'm at 275. I was at 250 yesterday. So we got 25 new subscribers overnight. So if we get 300 by the end of this month, next month will be a free month also for all the subscribers, okay? Um, if we don't hit that goal, I normally just say, hey, whatever you can afford, guys, just, you know, don't throw me a couple bucks, whatever, whatever, whatever you can afford, throw it to me in, in my PayPal, you know, I don't got a set price because I know everyone's not rich. I know everyone's not, you know, a pro at this, so, but y'all want, you know, I was a beginner once too. So, desperate for, for some advice and to win. So, I know I've been there. So, I'm not greedy. And we don't win every day. So, I'm not going to charge you guys five bucks or ten bucks or 
I'm not out here to rip people off. So that's that. That's just a breakdown of Skywalker DFS, where I'm at today. But this is draft dashboard, guys. This is what all the big dogs on the porch are using. This is what all the pros use. This is what I use. Right now, I'm offering draft dashboard for $1, guys. $1 for 30 days. That is it. And with draft dashboard, you get my saved lineups, guys. You get my watch players. You get the lineup optimizer, which is like a lotto quick pick. You click, you click that button, it gives you quick picks. It gives you lineups. Infinity amount of lineups that you want. It can it gives you lineups conducting of my watch players and your watch players. So you can't go wrong, right? Um, you got your sleepers and studs of the slate. You got your position optimizer, which breaks down every single player. If it's a good time to play this player or a bad day to play this player. All right. You got your top DFS players of the slate. And you got your NBA cheat sheet because you know what? If you can't win, cheat. This is for if you're like me, you work a lot, you don't have time to do the homework. I mean, this is what Draft Dashboard does. It does all the homework for you. But, but let's quickly take a look at today's NBA cheat sheet, what it showed. Let's see how accurate it was, guys. So it gave the locks of the day. Carl Anthony Towns totally fucked the dog. Uh, Bradley Beal, I didn't really see how he did. John Collins totally fucked the dog. Terry Rozier did all right. Studs over 8K. James Harden did all right. I think he got a 50. LeBron James did good. Trey Young did outstanding. All right, so pretty accurate there. Mid-range, the Magician, the Pillsbury Doughboy, Marcus Aldridge did good. I didn't see how Fox did. I think DeRozan had a good game. Bagley totally fucked the dog. Uh, Kuzma, I don't know. I didn't check. I didn't check on Richardson, Gasol, Thomas Bryant. Totally fucked the dog. We already went over that. I think Wade had a good game. I will have to check. I think KCP also had a good game. And then it gives you your value plays under 5K, guys. So, Reggie Jackson had a great game. Um, there you go. Dwayne Bacon. Kevin Bacon's love child. All right. So, this is this is the cheat sheet. This is what Draft Dashboard provides. All right. All this, you get it for $1.00. For 30 days, I'm offering it to you. In order to get this, I will leave the link below in my description. All right? You have to click that link in order to get access to my content. If you don't click the link, you don't get access, okay? Um, and also below down here, before we get into the slate, first of all, we before you get into any slate, you want to check in the injuries, okay? So one hour ago, it's showing Ariza is questionable for tomorrow. Uh, chances are you probably won't play. Uh, Joaquin Noah is out. All right. He is out. Lori Marketing, that pussy ass, excuse my language, but you know, if, if new subscribers, I don't have a filter. So um, if you have kids in the room, whatever, just have them leave. I apologize. That's why I do these videos at night. You know, it's TVMA. All right. Uh, Lori Marketing, that bitch, man. Who leaves, who leaves the game at halftime because they're not feeling good? Give me a break. Give me a break. And I didn't even own the guy. I felt bad for the people who did. So, anyway. Darren Collison. Looks like he's coming back. Chris Dunn is questionable tomorrow, guys. You don't want to look out for that. That Bulls, man. The Bulls are missing everyone. Otto Porter is questionable. So, he could play, maybe. Zach Levine could play, maybe. If all these guys are going to play tomorrow... The Bulls might have a chance, so we'll see. And look at Ariza's probable. What? No, okay, so that was going from earlier today, so it just updated. Anyways, draft dashboard, $1 for 30 days, guys. All right? So let's go to, let's get into tomorrow's slate. I'm going to click on my watch players, guys, and let's break down the guys I'm keeping my eye on, all right? First off. How can I not love this man? He won he won me all that money yesterday. Devin Booker T, five time. Alright. He's 9-2. That man played the whole second half last game, except for maybe two to three minutes. You got a 72 last game, guys. 72. Playing the Wizards, high paced freaking game. Last game he played them, he got a 64. Alright. 
This man, he's my hero now. I've never seen an NBA player do that. Never. Play like 50 minutes. I don't even, I, I got to check the minutes that he played last game, but uh, um, it was crazy. It was just crazy to see. So my hat's off to him, man. Thank God he's young. He can do that. Um, next up, Thomas Bryant. I know he fucked the dog tonight, but he's got a good draft dashboard ranking. Um, tomorrow against Phoenix, great match. Look what he got last time against him. He got a 51, guys. You can't deny history. I love history when it comes against opponents. Um, so Thomas Bryant, and he's affordable at 6K. Get you some. Next up, we got Bradley Bill. He's got a 100 draft dashboard ranking. So he has a 58% chance of hitting five times value at 9K tomorrow, guys. History gets the Suns, 79, 45, 53. The one that sticks out to me is a 79. We all know Bradley Bill. I don't gotta, I don't gotta preach you guys about him. Next up, I rarely play this guy, but he has a great matchup tomorrow. Draft dashboard, when you're using this tool, you see all that green right there. You want to pay attention to that player for that particular day. Going up against the Wizards, last game he had a 53 against them, guys. All right. That's what I like to see. He's affordable, 6'8". Love this play tomorrow. Next up, we got Damian Lillard. No CJ McCollum, guys. Always playing in it. I'm always going to play Dame without CJ. Um... Just hope the game stays close. That's why I'm hoping all these Bulls players play tomorrow. Because I want this game to stay close. If it does, you you have no choice. You gotta play. You gotta play Dame tomorrow. All right. He's easy gonna get you between a 50 and a 60. Okay. Very safe play against a weak Chicago team. Next up, uh, with that horrible injury to Nurkic, it looks like Enos Cantor is gonna take take on that center position. He's gonna start. Um, look at his last game against Chicago and mind you, he comes off the bench. He got a 65 guys. So he's going to get the start tomorrow at 5k. How, I mean, he'll probably be chalk unless nobody knows about that. Hopefully not. So shh, don't tell anybody that. All right. So Enos Cantor, you got to play in the mile center guys. We'll probably roll two centers tomorrow. I love rolling two centers. Next up, we got Jonas Valachunas. He's 7'7", seven, seven, um, playing the Golden State Warriors. So it's going to be an upbeat game. Um, everybody gets out of bed for the Warriors, man. They want to beat them. Especially right now, they're playing like dog shit. So um, let's see. 42, 48, 66, 52, 38 in his last five games. Joe Val is on fire. So check, get him in there. If you can fit this man, he has a good matchup tomorrow. You know, we all know he's shooting dependent. Donovan Mitchell um, going up against them Lakers. Um, he got a 58, though, last time against them. And a 55 the game prior to that. So he loves playing them Lakers. He got a 40 and a 34 against them. I don't know what that 12 was about, but other than that, he's getting 50s and 40s. So 7-9. Yeah, I, you can go there. Next up, a 6-4, we got Bobby Portis. I like playing this guy. I really do. Um, he's pretty, he's always consistent. Uh, 31, 31, 30, his last three. Um, playing the Suns, not a tough matchup by any means. Just hopefully the, stink, the game stays close, guys. That's all I can ask for. Next up, we got JaVale McGee. As long as this guy keeps getting... 50 fucking fantasy points. He's only 6'9". How can you not play him? So you're going to have to choose between two centers tomorrow. So there's a lot of centers to choose from, and they're all cheap. So I know it's Utah. You know, it's a tough matchup against Gobert, but what can you say about this guy? He got what? How many How many points did he get tonight, guys? Like 50? It's close to that. And then a 47 and a 72 his last three. So... The resurrection of Javelis McGee is real. At this point, it's not point chasing, guys. It's not. Next up, we got Bogon, Bojan, sorry, Bojan Bogdanovich from the Pacers, guys. Look at his matchup. Playing OKC, who absolutely sucks against point guards. All right. He got a 52 last game. So, 
He is very, very affordable at 5'9". This should be a, hopefully a close game. Hopefully, but OKC's been playing like shit too. So, But at 5'9", you definitely at point guard. I mean, I'm so excited for this slate, guys. All these affordable players, all good matchups. Let's do it. Next up, we got Seth Curry. No CJ McCollum. I love this value play at 4-2. Told you about him last video. Um, he got a 30 last game, guys. 24, 33 before that. He's only 4-2. If he's only 4-2, he's going to get you a 30. Playing Chicago, he's probably more likely going to get between 30 and 40. All right? That's my prediction tomorrow for Seth Curry. Steph Curry's goofy little brother. Get him in there. All right? Next up, now these two next picks are only if Mike Connolly sits, okay? Deleon Wright, you can play if Mike Connolly plays because he plays anyway. So, Deleon Wright against the Warriors. The Warriors, you know them. They throw up threes all day long. So, I got a feeling that um, the, Grizzlies, the Grizzlies are going to have to counter that with throwing three points. And that's what Deleon Wright does. So... Doesn't have a great record against Golden State, but normally is his previous pass. He's coming off the bench. So, last five games, 49, 30, 36, 21, 13. If he's starting tomorrow, get him in there at 5, 6. Look at all this value, guys. I mean, come on. And only, only if Mike Conley sits, get Tyler Dorsey Finn. Dolphin Dorsey Finn in there. All right? He's only 4, 5. He got a 40 last game. You give this man the opportunity, he'll give you 40 points. All right? That's that's it, guys. These are my watch players of the day. So, I am really excited for tomorrow's slate. So, we talk about bankroll management. I'd probably do the 20% tomorrow. 20% of your bankroll. Um, again, hit me up on Twitter. I'm going to leave the description or my Twitter, um, the link to my Twitter below. Hit me up on there. Send me a DM. If you can't somehow DM me, leave me your Twitter handle in the comments. I'll get a hold of you. Um, we'll create a group chat with everyone, and uh, we'll get out some lineups. I don't start work till 2 p.m. Um, West Coast time. San Jose represent the 408 West Side. Um, so I'll tell you guys what. I'll, I'll give you this deal. <laughs> You're going to love this. If you guys go tomorrow, if you go to Cam ATL's video, you give him a thumbs down. You, 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 take a, you take a print screen of it. You send it to me on Twitter. I will give you three lineups. Three free lineups if you go to his video tomorrow and you give him a thumbs down. All right? Is that a deal? That sounds like a deal to me. All right? So, let's do it. Let's do it. BFS club all the way. Throw it up. Um, you guys want to go? You guys got time? You know what? I'm excited. Let's go, to, let's go to DraftKings. Let's build a lineup real quick. All right. Hold up. Let's do this. All right, y'all. So, this is the main slate for tomorrow. Let's go to point guard. Off the top, so we got Westbrook. You know, we're going to put Dame in here. All right. Then we're going to go Booker. Because guess what? We got all this value. We're going to fit these two guys in here. All right. Small forward. Let's go on draft dashboard here. I'm going to go and look at my position optimizer. I'm going to go to my small forward. And see, if you guys subscribe to this through my trial, you guys can just go and look for, look for my picks. Let's see. Who did I pick at small forward? Bogdan Bogdanovich. 5'9". All right. Power forward. Let's see here. Man, these are going to be some sick lineups tomorrow, guys. These are going to be sick. Uh, Bobby Portis. Thomas Bryant. Let's, let's see. Let's go with... Drums, please. Bobby Portis. Thomas Bryant. Something. Let's go, we'll, we'll go Bryant. I think he's going to have a good bounce back game. And at center. Man, this value is going to be great. So center. Let's, let's go with, let's go with the chalk. All right. 
Let's go with the chalk because we're going to need value. Hold up. Hold up. There we go. This, this leaves us with four or five. All right. So let's see if we go to utilities, find another center. An affordable one. Six nine Javels McGee. Um, let's see, guys. Bear with me. Bear with me. I apologize. Let's see if we can fit Javels McGee. Let's just see. Hold up. Hold up. Who else did I mark down for center? Jav Javel, but I don't think that's. I don't think we can make that. Cause if we put Javel right. For instance, yeah, one of these is two nine. So let's say we'll, we'll go to guard. Let's say Mike Connolly's out, right? Let's see. Let's see where's Dorsey Finn at. Where are you at? There he is. Four five. Man, his price went up. God damn it. All right. Um, and then we'll go to forward. Let's see who should we get, guys. We got four or five on average. Uh, I know you guys are screaming. I do like Mo Harkless size. I always love that guy. Fuck Parsons, man. He fucked the dog for us last game, didn't he? Can we find any value down here? Are you guys seeing anything you like? Because I am not. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, so let's find someone for at least four or five, guys. Let's do it. Bruno had a fucking great, great day today. Uh, Lakers, I like Jay Crowder. I like Aminu. I just don't... I just hope that game will blow out. Let's do... I'm, I'm, I'm kind of caught between Aminu and Crowder. Ah, uh, Crowder. All right, Crowder. This lineup doesn't look bad. Doesn't look bad. All right. 4-6. Um, and don't be afraid to leave a little uh, value left over. All right. Seth Curry. Right? That's right. Seth Curry. Bam. That leaves us 400 left over, guys. Especially a GPP, because that means your line's gonna be your lineup's gonna be a little unique from everybody else's. Of course, if Mike Connolly plays, we're gonna get Dorsey Finn the fuck out. All right, and then we're gonna submit it. Twelve dollar single entry. Do as many single entries as you can. All right, guys. So that's it, and that's gonna do it for today's video. If we can get to three hundred guys by the end of the month, it's a free month. Next month that includes MLB, everything, whatever you guys want. Um. I do appreciate everybody's support, everybody's kind words. Um, again, you go to Cam ATL's video, you give him a thumbs down for tomorrow's video that he puts out. I'll give you three free lineups. All right, three free lineups. Is that a deal? That sounds like a deal to me. All right. All you got to do is like the video. I know you already subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, you have to subscribe, like the video, subscribe, and give that man a thumbs down. That's it. That's all you got to do. All right, y'all. God bless you. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys. Let's get it tomorrow. Let's eat. I feel great about tomorrow. I hope you do too. All right, y'all. Let's do it. DFS Club, throw it up. Too sweet. Peace.